Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Rocat Cone Pro Air. Now, I reviewed the Rocat Cone Pro in my last video. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to check it out. It's right up there. Um, this is an amazing mouse. But today, we're going to be reviewing the Rocat Cone Pro Air. Now, basically, the Rocat Cone Pro and the Rocat Cone Pro Air, they're basically the same thing, except this is wireless. And this is 66 grams. This is 75 grams. So yeah, let's check the Rocat Cone Pro Air out. So right off the back, the packaging is insane. Again, I want to say Rocat, first, thanks for sending me the product. Second, the packaging on this thing, it looks like, it looks amazing. You know, just font and everything, the colors, it's all amazing. So let's go ahead and open the mouse and check it out. So uh, yeah, let's do it. This is what everyone's been talking about, the Rocat Cone Pro Air. 75 grams, 19,000 DPI, it's stellar wireless, Titan switches. That's what they meant by Titan switches. Um, iconic cone shape, and look, I just wanna say, it just fits in my, I just, I palm grip, right? It just fits in my hand perfectly. Put my hand here, two thumbs here. Side buttons are also, I mean, they're a little bit mushy, but like, they, they're right alignment. Um, it's pro performance and there's optical speed. Let's check that out. So basically this comes with um, two feet. It, 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 they look like this, they're blue. I took them out because I was too excited. Um, but yeah, they also come with this Pro Air manual and they come with this USB dongle right here. If I can get that out. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit dongle you plug into your computer. So you don't have to go to the wireless settings in your Bluetooth, PC, whatever. Uh, this is it. And then they give you a braided USB-C cable. You love to see that. Um, yeah, it's USB to USB type C. And the charging thing is actually right there as you can see. And I tested out with one of my other USB-C, any, any USB-C type, any USB type C cable goes in here. It's not just this one, but this one just goes perfectly in. You just, you, you, just, you, just, you put it in. Um, so that's simple. Um, and I think you can use this just as a wired mouse as well. I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, just with this and you plug this into your computer. So you can do that. But first, let's, let's check out what the RGB is about. All right, so I'm plugging the dongle into my computer. I'm device right. connected. All right, that's cool. I plugged it in and okay, let me turn on the light here. So basically there's about, I think four things here. Basically here is the wireless, no, here's the, I don't know what that is. Okay, this is just the off. If I go here, it enables Bluetooth, which is the USB dongle. We'll see what this is about. And then this one, it's, it's just an extra button. If you want to like switch your profile, uh, increase the DPI, whatever you want to do. And that's a, that's a, one of the missed things that I don't, pretty light about this there's no dpi changer like on the burst pro they had it like right here um if they had it there that would be cool but yeah and one other thing i don't like about this mouse that sounds annoying like i'm not gonna keep clicking that during a game like you know i'm gonna click this 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 actually sounds good these three just sound annoying but that's not what we're here for three two one let's check out the rgb all right, so there it is. What's going on? What is that? Okay, let's let's change it to here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I got, I got it. Basically, I think this is when you can go. This is for Bluetooth, even if you don't have the dongle. This Wi-Fi thing is the dongle thing. Yeah, so. It, works on my computer. It goes up to 19,000 DPI. It's only 75 grams. Like usually they're like 60 grams, 70 grams. If you're that type of gamer, well, it, it matters to you, but like 60 and 70, I, you can't really tell the difference. Like it's, it's super light. You can just lift it in your hand. Let's check out the glide. Okay. Yeah, the feet on here, they're really nice. Um, 
they, they let Brocat always add so much good quality to the mouse, mice, whatever. Um, but basically, you know, all in all, I think this is a really good mouse. Um, one thing I may not like about it is the RGB. Like, you can go to the AIMO, AIMO software. Okay, let me turn this down for a second. Yeah, so as I was saying, you can go to the AIMO software, you can control it. But, yeah, on the Burst Pro, no, not the Burst Pro, what am I saying? The Cone Pro Air, uh, these two are the same RGB-wise. Basically, this only, the RGB only lights up here and here, and here and here. Uh, I don't know why they didn't choose to light it up here. I mean, it would look cool. It's not a honeycomb design. This is. This isn't. Th but this, that just looks clean. Rocat cone. Look at that. It looks so clean. Um, but yeah, all in all, I would say it's a really good mouse. So if you want to buy it, the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.